All right, it's a new year. We've got a new version of Android to play with, a new version coming up. Let's take a look at it, see where we're headed. Sound good? Sounds great. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Hey, welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Zach Miner. And I'm Chris Jennings. Today we're going to take a look at the state of Android. We've got Gingerbread on the Nexus S, coming to other devices soon. And we've maybe got some Honeycomb, the next version yeah. of Android, coming up soon. Version 2.3 of Android, Gingerbread, has come out, officially launched with the Nexus S, which Ron and I talked about a few weeks ago. Um, it's making its way to other devices in the typically slow manner that yeah. Android gets to other devices. Yeah. Um, we've both been playing around with it. Um, so let's kind of break it down. What's new in Gingerbread? Um, what are some of the best new features? Is it a worthy upgrade? So pretty much the, the biggest uh, change, I think, is the UI. There's been some, or it's at least the, the most apparent. Um, it's yeah. overall darker, right? Yeah, there have been some tweaks to the UI, a lot more shades of black and green. The, the notification bar has been switched up a little bit, right. so we've got a black bar at the top rather than the, the silver gray bar. Yeah. It's in, there are some other nice little flourishes in there, like when you're scrolling uh, in menus, there's like a little orange burst when you reach the bottom or the top, it kind of just lets you know where you are. Um, there's a really cool thing that I love, at least on the Nexus S, when you turn off the screen, it's like an old school TV. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's gonna make it to the other devices, we'll see. Because um, there has been, like in previous versions, there's been stuff that's come out for you know the, the Nexus version of Android that hasn't really made it to the other devices. Um, there's also a more accessible task manager that's right when you hit the menu button on the home mm -hmm. screen. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I really think that those are kind of just like on the surface. They don't really change too much of how you interact with the phone. Yeah, it's a pretty minor upgrade when you look at the overall and how you use your phone daily. You're not going to see that many features that just blow you away as an immediate upgrade from, right. from the previous version of Android. Yeah. So it's nice, but it's really not too critical. One of the big improvements I think with this, with this uh, version of Android, and probably my, my favorite, is the keyboard. Totally new keyboard, um, finally multi-touch keyboard. Mm -hmm. It looks different, it feels great. I don't know, is it, is it a good improvement for you? It's a major improvement over the stock keyboard, because I know a lot of people on Android have moved over to swipe and, and other, other things like that, but if you stick to the stock keyboard, this one is way better than the other one, especially when you have it in landscape mode. It has a little bit more room to work. It's, it's really good at picking up on, on all the touches there. Like you said, multi-touch, so you can be yeah. hitting multiple keys at once and it'll pick up on it. So it's a lot faster. Um, speaking of text entry, another big kind of bullet point for this uh, version of Android is copy and paste. They've been, they've cleaned up copy and paste a lot. Um, it's way better than it was. Copy and paste on Android before was kind of a nightmare. It was hard say. to do. You yeah. were a lot of pecking and trying to get right on the right spot on there, and it wasn't easy to do. In some apps, you couldn't even do it. Like, you couldn't even copy and paste in Gmail if you were reading something. Yeah. Um, so, it's definitely better here. It still is far from perfect. It is not unified. Like, there's different ways of doing it depending on what apps you're in. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's, I don't think it's nearly as good as the iPhone's implementation. Yeah, it has a way to go. As far as other stuff, uh, there's there's not really any new apps. There's like a new download section, um, which just consolidates all the stuff you've downloaded from the browser. Yeah. But it doesn't take downloads from other apps, like from you know an email app or something like that, which I found to be particularly frustrating. It seems like they kind of missed the ball on that one. Um, there's tags, which is for NFC tags, mm -hmm. not really useful yet. Yeah, that could be good down the line. It has a lot of potential. Hopefully you'll see more of that in the stores and with ads, and you can just you know, tag your phone and, yeah. and get the information that way, but not yet. For now, it's not really useful. And then under the hood, they've made some improvements that should facilitate better, a better gaming experience, but again, we, we haven't really seen that yet. It does feel a little snappier overall. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, I mean, it's it's kind of you know it's a dot upgrade. You know, yes, as I it's say. in between two major upgrades. You can kind of get that feeling. It's nice, but it doesn't doesn't put you over the edge to that next big level. Yeah. The good news is that there should be a big upgrade coming soon, which we will chat about when we uh, after we hear a word from the sponsor. Anthony, I just I have this website mm -hmm. that's kind of a secret thing. It's priceofastamp.com. So I guess it's useful, and mm -hmm. people just bookmark it when they forget. I have no idea cost. how much a stamp costs. So that's so, kind yeah, of for me. I know. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. So, well, I bought the domain name on GoDaddy. Okay. 
and you can actually host things on GoDaddy too. So I could have just done it all in one thing really? on GoDaddy. 99.9% yep. .9 uptime, 24 seven support. That's wow. pretty legit. Okay, so I get all my best website ideas like in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Did this one come to you at the bar? Well, yeah. It's like you're just like sitting around with people and you're like, the GoDaddy app, I have an iPhone. Okay. So you just pull it up, be like, boop, price yep. of the stamp .com. They have In fact, I got too. so out of control that I bought like, how much does a stamp cost.com and all the different iterations it's of it. Dangerous. Basically. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs> I recommend only operating the mobile app for your iPhone, Android, or Blackberry when sober. What was the Nancy one? I'm a Nancy? Nancy Boy. I'm a Nancy. Nancy. I'm a Nancy. I'm a Nancy. I'm a Nancy.com. Oh, I'm let's, a Nancy get is, let's get is a Nancy.com and that way we can put our friends' names before it. So it could so, be like mao.isanancy.com. Dot co too, that's way shorter. Tweetable. We can I'm just tweet gonna, around. Is, it, is there like a check off? Mao is a Nancy dot co, way better. Fewer characters. Yeah. <laughs> you can also manage your uh, your current account on there too. So if you have hosting oh, or you have domains that. on there, you can do it right through the app. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3 and type in judge10, that's our special app judgment code. Mm -hmm. So use that one to get 799.com domain names. I Bar tab, $50, domain <laughs> name tab, $372. <laughs> that's how we roll. All right, so we just got gingerbread, but we already Next, want more. We already want more. <laughs> Actually, on the same day that Gingerbread was officially announced, Andy Rubin took the stage at Dive Into Mobile and basically unveiled Honeycomb for the first time. Yeah, this is exciting stuff. Uh, just getting a little bit peek at what it looks like on the tablet. Um, so it, it looks like it's gonna be on the tablet first off, moving on to mobile phones afterwards. Yeah, so uh, Andy Rubin, who's kind of the chief engineer for the Android team, took out a tablet made by Motorola, uh, showed off what Honeycomb's looking like. Unclear if this is gonna be another, if this is gonna be 2.4 or 3.0 mm -hmm. of Android, but it looks like it's gonna be for uh, tablets first, as we were saying, mm -hmm. and then, because it seems like to come out with a version that's for phones like a month later is kind of really... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make, make much sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. So basically it looks like a version that's finally optimized for tablets. Um, basically, I mean, we've had Android tablets before, but they've all kind of been, it has not been a great experience. You know, it's been uh, a experience for phones that's just kind of blown up to a bigger screen. Yeah. So this he showed off multi-plane Gmail, um, different home screens, no physical buttons. Um, it looks pretty cool. I'm excited. I am very excited. Cannot come soon enough. All right, well, that's it for today. We'll all stay tuned for what uh, Honeycomb will be like. We'll probably come back at you with some more info later. Uh, for now, check out some more App Judgment on our Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, on the forums at Revision 3. And if you have any apps that you want to check out, uh, just hit us up. That's it for now. See you next time.